Hey guys, this is Billy Davison here with Davison Pressure Wash Painting in Hammond, Louisiana. Hope you all are having a fabulous afternoon like we are. We uh, today are cleaning some brand new black top coating. Wanted to talk a few things about that. We got both rigs here, mine and Apex. He's uh, doing some subcontracting on this as well for me. Um, so I want to show you a couple of do's and don'ts about cleaning this black top. Some things that can get you in trouble, some things that uh, to avoid and some things that might get speed up the process. I want to mention real quick, please check out our resource page and a link in the description and also I'll pin a comment to find more helpful information to grow your pressure wash business. And also I want to mention some of the guys were asking me about our mentorship. Um, I also will uh, put a link in the uh, comments in the description as well. Basically it involves some very, uh, very exclusive one-on-one -on -one training with me. I'm only taking a few more guys um, at the end of July, I'm probably going to shut it off because of time constraints. It does take a little extra time on my part to do this one-on-one -on -one training. Um, it's to land very lucrative uh, contracts in your area. Um, commercial work, working at nighttime. So if you're interested, please check out that link. Um, also, I'll leave my phone number at the end of the video. It's an expensive deal, but it's expensive for both of us. It will take a lot of time on my part. It takes a lot of effort on your part. But at the end of the day, this could very well change your life, uh, fin your financial life for sure. So um, this would be a good baseline to start and grow from, especially if you're looking for some extra work that is very reliable. So right here, we are cleaning this blacktop. What I wanted to make mention on this, we using a little bit of pressure, but not much. Um, my guys know to stay far enough back from it now, I wanted to say one mistake you can make really, really quickly is by putting a surface cleaner on this. Um, pretty much any black top is not meant for surface cleaning. I have seen it done, but it has to be done extremely careful with special tips in your surface cleaner. But the most safest spot to be is doing it with a wand and using a high flow, but less pressure. So what I want to show you here on brand new black top, it has this black top coating that is um, an all base. So if you jump on it real hard with your pressure tip, you definitely can start to remove that just with plain water and pressure only. So again, using that surface cleaner would be, uh, be a big issue for sure. So what's happened here as they laid this asphalt and they were continue to work on it, some of the machinery has tracked dirt back on it in different sections. Some of it's really bad, some of it's not so much. So when you're doing this, you want to wand wash it. The higher flow machine that you can get, the better. But if you only have a four gallon per minute machine, you can still do it. You just got to be a little extra careful. It's going to take you a little bit more time than using an eight gallon. And basically what we do is come in, as you see right here, and do a little uh, washing on it from a distance, just enough to dislodge some of that dirt ground up in the blacktop. Now, don't expect to clean this in one pass. This is not your, your normal concrete. So you can't put a lot of pressure on it. So I tell guys all the time, the first pass, you can probably get about half of it off, maybe even 60%. The second pass, you're gonna get a little more, and then probably that third pass on it, you're gonna go ahead and get it at 100%. Pre-wetting the area is a must, especially if it's been hot and dry. The more water you can get down the better you are. If you only got a four gallon per minute machine, drag another water hose over here and let it run in the general area and flood that area as you doing it with your yellow tip or whatever. If you got an eight gallon per minute machine, maybe you can take some water out the tank and just make a pass through it through your dump valve and flood the area and get it, get it nice and wet and saturated and then come back with a little bit of pressure and move that off the black top. And the older the black top it is that you're dealing with, the harder it is to remove this dirt off of because it really wants to embed and get grounded down into the black top. Uh, obviously, this is brand new black top, so it is pretty much sitting on the surface, but we are having to work with it. So remember that you're not going to be able to get it all off in one pass. Take multiple passes. Don't get greedy. Don't put PSI on it. No more than about seven or eight hundred pounds of pressure is all this can take. Otherwise, you're going to um, scratch yourself pretty bad. And once it dries, you'll be able to see it from a mile away. Again, I hope this helps. Cleaning 
blacktop parking lots, new or old. Again, I'm Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washer Painting, and I hope to see you in the next video.